Ambassador of Japan to the state of Kuwait, uh, Takoka Masado, delivered a heartfelt message on the occasion of the Independence Day and the Liberation Day of Kuwait. The official affirmed the, the emperor's uh, efforts to deepen the Kuwaiti people's understanding of Japan and uh, to further develop bilateral relations and the people-to-people -people friendship. In its 30th year since Kuwait was invaded by the Iraqi forces, Kuwait more so than ever remains to make huge accomplishments on all fronts. Successfully solidifying its niche in the global community, Kuwait was named the capital of the Islamic culture in 2016, while its humanitarian initiatives, supported by the late Emir Sheikh Subah Al Ahmed Al Jaber Al Subah, has been acknowledged by the global community with high praise and respect and continues in this path under the leadership of His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jaber Al Subah. I stand here at the most beautiful and my favorite location in Kuwait, Al Shahid Park. As Japan celebrates this week, His Majesty the Emperor's birthday on the 23rd of February, I wish to convey my warmest greetings to the leadership and people of the state of Kuwait. I am always thankful that Japan and Kuwait enjoy great partnership. There are genuinely warm feelings between us, which have been cultivated in our long history. The year 2021 marks the 60th anniversary of the establishment of our diplomatic relations. Japan is one of the first countries that recognized the independence of the state of Kuwait. This week's calendar is also marked by the 60th anniversary of the Kuwait national independence and the 30th anniversary of liberation. Japan and Kuwait have come a long way together over those years, helping each other. 30 years ago, at the time of tragedy in Kuwait, Japan provided an unprecedented level of support, totaling $13 billion for the operations of the multinational coalition forces and for contributing to the regional stability. We also sent Japanese minesweepers to Kuwait to remove dangerous mines floating in the water to ensure the safe navigation of vitally important sea lanes. On the other hand, 10 years ago, when Japan was devastated with the major earthquakes and tsunami, Kuwait came to offer enormous support. We will not forget the Kuwaiti generosity and kindness. People in Fukushima, for example, are eager to host the Kuwaiti Olympic team this summer. Japan and Kuwait are friends in need and friends indeed. Currently, we are faced with the national and global crisis of Corona, but we will overcome together. The Embassy of Japan in Kuwait is planning to organize a number of events this year, initially online to commemorate the important milestone of the relationship between our two countries. I invite all creative friends to participate in our activities. I hope we will soon be celebrating our friendship face to face. Thank you for your attention. I look forward to working closely with you for a coming year. The National and Liberation Days are the most cherished and significant events in Kuwait which signify an array of messages, freedom, independence, and a remembrance into Kuwait's rich and enduring history, ultimately its independence. 